What's Splash and YouTube back at it again with some Hogwarts Legacy King Omi Water Gaming? Let's do it. I said it backwards, but we're gonna keep moving. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Hey, you generous, aren't you? Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swirl on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swirl, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious. Pyres, you say? Pyres. Incendio. Flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Fast enough. Yeah, how beautiful. <clears throat> Look at me figuring out puzzles on the first go. I hardly believe it. What is that? I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. <laughs> However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. All right, ma'am. Be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Level eleven. Better get to herbology, I guess. My least favorite subject of the main courses, anyway. Just go. From way downtown. Just onion again. I knew she was the herbology teacher when I saw her Good at morning, the Great Professor Hall. Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello, class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is well, to have Sebastian everyone back together bitter. again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. 
then. Today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuba known as the Mandrake Root. Oh no. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Jeez. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. That was it. That wasn't now, so bad. Our next task will be planting dittany at our potting tables. Never mind. You can all get There's started. More. I need to have a brief word with our new spoon. I want sure. hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see how to balance <coughs> the star thistle arrangement. Italy's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Ready in nine minutes. Done. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, Potions teacher, I'm assuming. We branch out. Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Who? Oh? Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Was that cheap? Yeah. Hello. Oh, that's you. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be oh. showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Why are you pacing around like you're nervous? Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Oh, thank Excuse you. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. I'm collecting all of these. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming.
Heels in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My Watch kind of mouth. plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. <laughs> the kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. <laughs> Dogweed and Death Cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Revelia. Reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Thank you, Professor. But looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Sorry I'm not talking as much. I'm kind of like, I'm like in it right now. <laughs> I am into the game right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm about to use and abuse these cabbages, though. I'm gonna need more of these. And any the other attacking things that give me the one up. So, what's next? The 10th potions class. How did I not see that? I'm gonna go Central Hall. What am I doing? Oh, I'm so slow. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black. He knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Rebellion. Similar gold coin. Don't mind if I do. One more, more random from the Aura Office. Oregon and Burks. Morgan and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction to follow. Okay. Interesting. Brown Eye of Newt Goggles. Yeah, because that sounds appealing. Revelio. Oh, 
That's a sharp. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both <laughs> discipline and intellect. Okay. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Hell yeah. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Alright, so this is a manual making thing. <coughs> oh. Swallow my slide there. Strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous okay. when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. <clears throat> I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. I see you trying to tap into your inner snake, but My parents considered you ain't, me you ain't terrible enough. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. Gareth Weasley. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait. Are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll, I'll get, get it. Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Keep your potions Oh, that was it. A prepared witcher wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the Fupa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Okay. Don't make me regret it. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Dang it. <coughs> Felix Felices. Liquid luck. 
enhances the drinker's chance of success in their endeavors, specifically by revealing the locations of large loot chests on the minimap for one in game day. Huh. Nice. Just need flux flux weed stem. But let's make this potion. Oh cool, I don't have to actually do anything, thank god. I just gotta wait. Nickelodeon. Alright, thank you. And uh I don't need to. And now we add the mallow sweet and that's odd. What's happening? Oh no. Wait, it's not supposed to. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well done, Gareth. Um What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. How you know? I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. Damn it! You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Okay, As cool. for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. That's why I didn't even bother Each trying to lie. Because he knew day, exactly that it was me. He immediately knew it was me. Ugh, oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. No, what are you up to now? Two pinches of Angelica or three? Hour two. Next. understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Okay. So I think I figured out how these doors work. Let me see. 17. Let me get close, because I think it's the number of legs each creature has that combine into the number in the middle. So, five. Six. Five. Nine. So, I need something with three legs on... Question mark number two. Where is question mark number two actually? Revelia. Okay. I don't know where question mark number two is. Question mark number has it narc. Question mark number one. Eleven.
I'll worry about that one another time because I don't know where that thing is and I'm not trying to waste time trying to find it. But I opened up a, a similar door and that seemed and that was the process I went with and it worked. <laughs> Why'd you punch him for? <laughs> Flattened armor. This set of armor belonged to Sir Skaglet Thorpe, the heedless who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. <laughs> Why? Like he was just asking to die. Let's go. Bees. That flower just trim itself. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, I am. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. What the hell? Oh, that's just a graphic error. So I'm like, what's it? Yeah, no. I was gonna run there, but now I'm getting tired. Not what I wanted. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. What's up, Ollivander? What was that? I thought I saw something that says Pretty Square. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult to find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My fairy great aunt wing. suspected a, a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? like the bird in fact he was known to frequent the hogwarts owlry we searched there of course but found no wand we did find a series of statues similar to jackdaws i'm certain they're a clue but i cannot figure out where they lead jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from peeves as you can imagine the poltergeist was less than helpful okay Surely you could continue searching the Owlery. Oh, one would think. However, the headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. <coughs> I feel a fresh set of eyes and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Okay. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Ah, oh, you've brought hope to this old one maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Remarkably awesome. Um, okay. But I am not running all the way back to school. Well, hold up, since I'm here. Might as well go shopping. Let's see what we got. Broomsticks. Can I go in here?
frog spawn soap. An amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches right out of the suds. Yeah. I can't talk to you. So I guess I can't buy any of this stuff. That would have been cool being able to use like joke stuff and whatnot in battle. Interesting. Don't push. Stop it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and escort myself out. Don't you ever! They're gonna try to jump scare me. Alright. Oh, that shop was a bust. Three broomsticks. I don't really need potions right now. I don't think I can buy brooms yet. Alright, back to school then. Hmm? What? What's happening here? Wait, what am I looking at here? Why are you hanging off the earth like a bat? You can't imagine how inconvenient that is. That's as much as you've told me already. Huh. Parkour! Parkour! <clears throat> Parkour! up there. The hell was that? What was that? Something to have went into the grass. Parkour. So I had to snap stones. Parkour. Get off the tree. Key, I'm ready to get into some trouble. See some stuff. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. <laughs> Don't mind me, owls. I'm here to help a friend. Now. Where are those statues? Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. I recognize Disgusting. Those handles. The 
The summoning charm should do the trick. Handles. This will do nicely. <sighs> Nothing. Take that, thank you. Revelio. What are these jackdaw statues for? Let's go. Hmm. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. <coughs> Nothing. Up. No statues okay. here. The hell is this? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Oh. Interesting. Huh? Huh? A page? Appreciate it. I'd best keep looking. Nothing. Here's a welcome surprise. Quick work of this. No statues here. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Perches could be the right size for jackdaws or oh, statues of jackdaws. What's happening? I found this on complete accident. I was clicking square trying to get that money, and this happened. And what the hell? Tell you. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So, Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom? Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? Oh, jeez. I'd be happy to show you where to find them.
Good if luck. that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Ooh, the inside of my ears are itching. There was another quest they said popped up. I'm not really looking for treasure. Oh, excuse me. Um, you know what? I need a break. So, I'm going to cut this one short, but don't forget to descend upon that like button like the angels you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.